Oscar winning director Guillermo del Toro never expected he would need props to create fake snow in Buffalo in February. But that's exactly what happened on the first day of filming his new movie, Nightmare Alley. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley takes us on set. I've always been fascinated by the city. And uh, it is true that every day that I'm here, I fall in love more and more with it. Oscar winning no, director I, I, Guillermo I del Toro so. is ready to film Nightmare Alley in the Queen City. Del Toro says the city's architecture and rich history won him over. But there was one thing he didn't expect to have to create in Buffalo. As film crews arrived here in Niagara Square, they actually brought in their own snow to Buffalo. Yes, that's like bringing tacos to Mexico. <laughs> I, I really didn't expect that. <laughs> but it didn't stop Del Toro and a caravan of trucks and crew members from starting to turn parts of downtown Buffalo into a movie set. And this city has an, a pristine reputation as a place to shoot. The movie will feature actor Bradley Cooper and actress Kate Blanchett. Well, Seven Eyewitness it. News asked Del Toro Today. if they're here. And they better be here because we start, <laughs> we start shooting in about a, a half hour so. They must be somewhere, you know. Filming will take place on two floors of City Hall. Just outside in Niagara Square, crews removed a pedestrian signal for filming. Other nearby buildings are expected to share the spotlight as well, including the Carpolis Museum at Elmwood and North Street. Film Commissioner Tim Clark says the film could bring in millions for the city. City and county leaders declared this Del Toro Week in Buffalo. Uh, with this special recognition as an honorary Buffalonian. Yay! I like it. <laughs> so now when he comes back to shoot his next movie here, he won't be a visitor, he will be a Buffalonian. In downtown Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.